Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Frigidaire dishwasher dispenser assembly. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new dispenser assembly. The dispenser assembly is located on the inside of the dishwasher door. It holds the rinse aid and the dish soap. The main reason you'd be changing it out is if there's a problem with it and it's not dispensing those. First thing we have to do is open up the dishwasher door so we can change out the part. Now that we have the door open, we can get access to the part. We're going to loosen these two screws up on the control panel. And on these two, we're going to remove them from the door. Now that we're done with the screws, we can lift up the door. And you don't have to close it all the way, but just lift it up enough so we can grab the bottom of the panel and pull it down so we can take the stainless panel off. First thing we have to do to get the dispenser out is disconnect the wires. So we want to take and get them out from underneath this little retainer and then take them off the motor. We're going to use a small flathead screwdriver if it's tight to help pop them off. Now that we have the wires off, we can take out the six Phillips screws that hold it in. So before you take the last screw completely out, you want to grab a hold of the dispenser assembly. And then you can open up the dishwasher door and pull it out. Now they have the door open and all the screws out, we can lift the dispenser out. Here's the old dispenser assembly next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Now we can put the new dispenser assembly back in the door. You want to make sure that the little red piece with the wire connectors is on the outside so the wires connect to it. All you have to do is snap it into place and then we can put the screws in. Now we can close the door and put the screws back in. Now that we have all the screws in, we can hook up the wires. All you have to do is run them back underneath and into the little clip. And then you can hook it up to the wax motor. This little wax motor is just an electric circuit. It's not polarized or anything, so it doesn't matter which wire you hook these on, it'll still work. Now that we have everything hooked back up, we can put the front panel back on the door. To put the front panel on, there's two locking tabs on each side that go into the slots on the front panel. So we need to line those up and then lift up on the panel to lock it in place, making sure that your tabs are lined up. Now that we have the door panel in and the tabs are in the right spot, we can lift it up and slide it underneath the control panel. All right, now that we have it in there, we can open up the door and put the screws back in and tighten those other two down. Now we can put in the two screws that hold the door panels to the door and then tighten up the two control panel screws.
Now that we're done repairing the dishwasher, we can close the door, plug it back in, turn the water back on, and give it a whirl. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.